Return to Void with Lightbearer. <clears throat> you know, that was an awesome rock too. Like all the soloing, I mean, kind of like at 80s uh, mixed with like nice, nice rock, but it was really cool, like really badass. And these guys are a super cool band. These are really exciting bands. I mean, these are the ones where I have to stop my myself swearing so much when I hear it um, I just love the fact that they managed to kind of merge all of the best bits of Metallica, Iron Maiden and Alice in Chains in, in one album <laughs> it's just fantastic, it's really really good uh, really kind of uh, gets me like I'm not um, I, I like a lot of heavy music but I'm not massively into heavy stuff certainly not as much as when I was younger but these guys are um, proper heavy and in a really really good way it's just uh, you just have to turn it up really loud that's the thing so I'm glad we're only playing it at um, what is it quarter past midnight here and not you know 3am because I'd have some complaints in the morning yeah like <laughs> right on so <laughs> we, we awesome. still have a few more songs to get to we're gonna try to get through as many as possible uh, we might not be able to get to all of them for this part but we'll figure it out somehow so next up we have Seething Acura and this one's called Backlash featuring Oli Simmons from The Chemist. This is a really cool tune. It kind of reminds me of Linkin Park. Dig this.
Seething Acura featuring Always Simmons, and that was called uh, Backlash. Like, what a great tune. I told you it sounds like a lot like Linkin Park, but fantastic and very, very forceful, very aggressive, but really, really cool tune. Yeah, man, if you can um, if, you, if you can listen to that song and not shout, this is my backlash after you've heard it once or twice throughout the song, uh, then you have much more control than I do. Uh-uh. <laughs> because, <laughs> because it's just like, it feels like listening to Henry Rollins when he shouts that, man. Like, right, it's, eh? it's really, really good. Uh, it's brilliant. And there's, there's bits of that in there, you're right, there's a big kind of Lincoln Park thing um, going on in there as well. Although I would argue, actually, better guitar tone, Lincoln Park never really... I um, you know, they, they were good at what they did, but they never really nailed the, the kind of tonality <laughs> from a geeky guitarist point of view for me. <laughs> Whereas these guys had that much better. So, um, yeah, it's cool. And and um, we occasionally get bands like this. And I always, whenever we talk about Lincoln Park, and I kind of, there's a lot of bands where, you know, Lincoln Park could have been as good as the, these guys if they hadn't spent mixing all their old albums and spent more time writing new tunes. Um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, no, fair these, these guys are better than. Lincoln Park, um, but they've, in my opinion, but they've definitely um, d- taken that kind of. Uh... You cut out there, Mike. Take, uh, take is what the last word I got out of you. Uh, no, oh, whatever. <laughs> that great tune. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, right then. <laughs> So next up is a brand new Wild Horse song off their new EP. This one's called Money Troubles. Dig this.
right on Wild Horse with Money Troubles. And I see this week in, week out, man. They remind me of the old Rolling Stones. And I just think of it when I'm walking around doing something man key with it on the record player. Yes, record player. And uh, great tune, man. Love it. These guys are so cool. They're, they're, they're just kids. And it's, it blows my effing mind, man. These, these kids are amazing. It's insane. They're 15 and 17. Who does that when they're 15 and 17? Where do they, where do they learn that? So How do they have time to do it? It's ridiculous. So it's sure. fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fantastic to hear. They're such a good band. They've got so much potential and they're going to go so far in the future. Uh, and they sound absolutely awesome. Uh, again, I haven't had a chance to catch them live yet, but I really, really want to see them because I've heard they put on an amazing live show as well um yeah it's a really cool ep and it's a really um mature sound and you can see the more stuff they put out and the more stuff we play you can see the kind of um, progression and it just gets better and better they are going to do some amazing things <laughs> and they're fantastic right on so next up we got three more songs to get to the next one up is proud honey from glasgow this is off their new album called the breaking of the silence this one's called fallen star dig this Ever, ever. 